Hi there, Tina Vanderwerker with Berkshire Hathaway Clifton Park Office. It's Tuesday, so it's time for Tina's Tuesday tip. Today, I'm gonna to talk a little bit about growth. If you've been following me, um, you know that fairly recently, I gave up my full-time occupational therapy job to pursue my real estate business. So it did not come easily and it did not come quickly. You know, I started in real estate about five years ago and, you know, I certainly didn't necessarily get into it to do a full blown business. We were starting to flip houses and it was just an easy way for us to be able to get into the houses and then I could sell our properties for the business. Well, as that grew and as I enjoyed doing it more, you know, I made a plan. So as I started to get into more of the retail side, meaning like helping uh, folks buy and sell houses, not just our investment properties, you know, I knew that I needed more education. So all along the way over the last five years, you know, I have done things in order to grow my business and in order to become better. So I figured today I would kind of talk about five things that are important when you're looking for growth. The first thing is your mindset. So if you have a growth mindset and it's something that you are making a priority in your life, then that is going to be very helpful in order to move yourself forward, whatever it is. So, you know, I couldn't have, if I had just said to myself, you know, I'm just going to do this as a hobby and I'm going to still do the OT and just kind of deal with it at that point, that's where I would have stayed. But ultimately I decided that that wasn't really where I saw myself. I wanted to have a business where, you know, I could have more free time and I could have time freedom where, you know, I could be still making some money and actually be traveling and doing different things that I enjoy doing, spending time with family and, you know, vacationing and things like that. So that is where my, it started was with my mindset. The second thing was to set goals. So the first year, you know, didn't really know about setting goals and I went ahead and, you know, just kind of took the business as it came and, you know, said, okay, if we can find properties, you know, whatever. And then as I got into working with regular clients, you know, I said, okay, well, let's see, you know, how many can I do? But again, I just kind of took the business where it went. And then I started with coaching and I said, all right, you know, they make you set goals. So I saw myself, you know, I did 10 transactions the first year of coaching. Then last year I did 12 transactions. This year, my goal is to do 24 transactions and I'm pretty much on pace to make that happen as long as everything closes the way that it should. So by setting those goals, it kind of gives me a direction to head so that I can make sure that, you know, I'm doing the work that I need to put in in order to meet those goals. The third thing is to track. So if I'm not tracking my numbers and I'm not tracking everything that I'm doing to put into my business, I'm never going to know where I'm going. So I have a piece of paper on my wall that says, you know, all the transactions that have closed and what my goals were for the year, halfway through the year and at the end of the year to make sure that I'm on pace to meet those goals. And then I have to track, you know, how many communications I do, how many phone calls I make, you know, how many people I'm in contact with to make sure that I'm doing the right things that are going to lead me towards those goals. The fourth thing is to be the master of execution, not the master of preparation. So the way my personality is, is I can have analysis paralysis. So I can sit there and I can prepare and I can be ready, you know, and try to get ready and take all my notes and do all the things that I need to do to get ready and then never really execute. So my coach has helped me with that as well, as well as some other um, time management people and things and making a calendar. So I'm getting better. I knew that about myself. So I'm getting better and I'm finding the tools to be able to execute the business versus, you know, just keep preparing and preparing and preparing and preparing. You know, you just have to start doing it. And finally, the last thing is the commitment. So when I gave up my OT job, a lot of people said to me, you know, oh, you're so brave. You know, I could never do that and, you know, whatever. And that is probably true. If you don't think that you can do it and if you are comfortable with the, the uh, life that you currently have, you know, then that's where you're going to stay. 
but you have to be committed to making the decision. You have to be committed to making the change. I knew that this year I was going to be giving up the business. I just didn't know, or the OT job. I just didn't know exactly when that was going to be. I went to a retreat over the summer that changed my life. And it talked about, you know, getting rid of the old and taking on the new and getting out of my own way. And, you know, I realized that again, I was preparing, I kept preparing and making sure that everything was lined up and that, you know, I was ready to take on just the real estate and be, you know, be able to succeed at it. And so I just made a decision. I'm like, okay, I'm committed. I'm committed to the real estate. I'm committed to, you know, making myself the best realtor that I can be. And so I gave up the OT job. And then this week I am doing a conference. So, you know, part of our uh, real estate is we have to do continuing education, but also part of my coaching is that they have this thing called success summit. So I am doing that this week in order to better myself, give me new tools, give me new strategies to make myself better so that I can help my clients better. So when you're committed to something, you know, that's what the important thing is, is to, you know, put yourself into it completely and make yourself the best that you can be. So I hope that this has been helpful. So I look forward to working with you, serving your, ser serving the clients um, as they come. And you know, if you know of anybody looking to buy or sell, I'm ready. Talk to you soon.